piece of meat, boy. Go, go, go. Welcome back to the StarCraft Weekly News. I'm Artosis. I will be your host once again. And let's start right into it. Well, ESWC is underway. And it's, it's been going pretty well. The Chinese qualifier is done. The European qualifier is done. And the finals VODs of those will be up anytime. Uh, I recorded them with Tasteless. So you're really going to enjoy those. Uh, my favorite commentaries ever. Really excellent, excellent series. The final series for the Chinese qualifier was Super against Legend, and the finals of the European qualifier, Strelok against White Raw. So just two really amazing uh, Terran vs. Protoss rivalries from those areas of the world. Uh, just great, great VODs. And, you know, ESWC American finals is coming up this weekend. We just finished up the uh, qualifiers for them. The first one was won by Reason, the Brazilian player, the ex-Brazilian champion. And, you know, surprisingly enough, he has been active for a while. He's never really mingled with the other top players of the scene more. He plays more with uh, the Korean players. So no one really knew he was active, but he is active at the time. He really destroyed the first tournament quite easily. And the second tournament was quite odd. Uh, G5 originally was invited to the top 16 final tournament. But he dropped out, citing he had to work on the, the day of the qualifier. So day nine replaced him, and G5 then found out that he could take the day off. So he entered the qualifier and went ahead and won that against Gretorp in the finals. So really quite a stacked final tournament for the American region. Can't wait to see how that turns out. You know, Idra, Noni, JF, Zalzi, G5, day nine. It's, it's, it's going to be great for sure. And, well, there's a lot of other things happening in the foreigner scene still. Another ESL Major Series uh, finished up, and that means we only have one slot left. This week, uh, Brad OK beat out Advocate. Uh, let's see, we have uh, Sawyer beat Castro, which is really sad. Castro made it to the finals, I think, all three times and just couldn't finish. So Castro, uh, he's, he's going to have to try to win that last slot. We also had Dinot taking out Machine, and Idra finally showed up and beat out Demaga 2-0. So one slot left, that's going to be Heypro's slot because he went inactive now. So that is going to be a super hard tournament. There's a lot of good players still not qualified, such as Castro, such as Zalzi. A lot of the Americans haven't qualified yet, such as Noni. So uh, this last tournament should be the hardest one so far. And, well, the Ansadi Star League has just started up. Not a lot of people signed up yet, but, you know, it does look like it is going to be a valid tournament. Uh, hopefully more people do end up signing up. There are good prizes for it, $700 in total. And, you know, another couple money uh, clan leagues are going to start up as well. Uh, Esports International, the old NASCL, uh, has added $600 to their prize pool, so that's really good to see. You know, money clan league's always more exciting than the non-money ones. And also, Xeris really taking some initiative trying to make the World Clan League where you pay in money and there will be about 600 in prizes also. So, you know, if those two get started and the IC Cup Clan League, I mean, that's, that's a lot of money for the foreigner scene, just being injected into it constantly. So, you know, that's pretty exciting. StarCraft II coming up out, everyone is trying to position themselves to get something done in esports right now with StarCraft. So it's, it's, you know, as I always say, this is a great time to be a player, a great time to be a fan. And, well, let's see. That is about it for the Foreigner news. Uh, well, there's one kind of thing that is a good transition between Foreigner and Korean news, and that is Idra. He had his first TV match at GOM. And he went up against Buy Trap. And, you know, at the scforall.com website, I took some behind-the-scenes footage, talked to Idra, talked to Super Daniel, talked to Tasteless uh, about the match a little bit. Go check out that video. It's really cool. And, uh, you know, Idra, he ended up losing 1-2 to two against Buy Trap. And it's too bad because the first game on Tau Cross, Idra just destroyed him. He, you know, he out him totally. Uh, he positioned his units really quite well, defended well, and by trap was just destroyed. And then destination was map two. Ooh, Idra definitely did have that game. Uh, you know, he he went for six factories, pushed out. 
uh, destroyed by Trap's uh, top left expansion, and by Trap was just kind of running around. It really looked to me like he was dead. And then Hydra, you know, just overextended a little bit, didn't reinforce his tanks, lost about 10 tanks for free in the top right trying to kill an expansion. So, you know, just a, a minor mistake there.